drink and now I'm going to talk really, really fast and be all hyper. Nah. But to top off my energy drink, guess what I found? What the hell is this? Pepsi pink, strawberry, and milk Pepsi? What? <sighs> smells like My Little Ponies. But it kind of tastes like Care Bears. Hey cuties! Hey! Hey listen! Hey! Hey! Do you know what today is? It's November 11th and you know what happens on November 11th in Japan? It's Pocky Day! I gotta clean that up now. But why? Why do you Is it Pocky Day? Because one, 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 one. It's, it's Pocky. If there is one thing that I have learned while living in Japan, it is to not question what happens in Japan. So Pocky Day is a day to celebrate Pocky. And come on, who doesn't want to celebrate Pocky? Pocky's amazing! Oh, this is a bad idea. Yep, it's a bad idea. That's nasty. So now I'm going to tell you all I know about Pocky! And some stuff I looked up on Wikipedia. Pocky was founded in 1966 by the Glyco Company. Or Glico. Glico. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that one. The name Pocky came from the word Pokin, which is the sound of... That's, that's Pokin. 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 Pocky comes in all kinds of different flavors, but the top two are the original chocolate, which are currently scattered across my floor, and strawberry. Which I'm not a fan of. But Pocky has had some weird flavors like kiwi fruit mango and Kobe wine. Wine? I'm gonna show you all the Pocky that I can currently find right now in Japan. Did I buy a whole bunch of boxes of Pocky just for this video? Yeah. Do I regret it? No. This is Pocky milk. The only difference is that it's with milk chocolate instead of the regular chocolate they use. This is Pocky salty. I'm assuming it's going to be like a chocolate covered pretzel. Yes. Pocky sweet milk, which I'm actually a little scared to eat. It really has, like, no flavor to me. I was trying to find Dessert Pocky, but I came across this instead, which is kind of like Dessert Pocky. Dessert Pocky means it just has more cream on it, but this one actually has a thicker stick. Here's the same one, but it has kind of an orange flavor. Yeah, it does. You know what they call this? Naked Pocky. Just kidding, they call it Pretz. Pretz is Pocky. It is Pocky. Even though it's not really a candy, it's a snack, it's, and this one's a salad flavor. I don't know what kind of salad this is. This is a new one they just released called Peanut Crush. It's just chocolate and peanuts on the stick. But not the Charlie Brown kind of peanuts. That would be very strange to eat and might make me a little depressed. This is a new winter Pocky or Fuyu Pocky. There's your kanji of the day. That's Fuyu. It means winter. And apparently it is coated in cocoa. Yeah, I just ate Nesquik on a stick. And this is a new one I'm really excited about. You know why? It's not that it's a chocolate stick with white chocolate on the outside. It's because it's Panda Pocky! Oh! Okay, I got a little too excited about this, but you don't understand why this is funny to me and all of my kids at school. The toy that I use the most in all of my lessons is Pompon, which is a little panda. It's like this big. It left it at school. I can't show you it right now. But they're like, oh my god, because one of my students came up to me and ran to this box, and they're like, Sammy Sensei, look, Pompon Pocky! And I'm like, oh my god! Now, that was the end of the story. So that is all the Pocky that I could currently find in all the stores around me. But there's some other Pocky that I think you need to know about. The first one is called Men's Pocky. I don't know why they felt the need to make Pocky more appealing to men. Because everyone likes Pocky! It's supposed to be more bitter kind of chocolate. And so the manly man men can eat it without feeling shame, I guess. This one cracked me up. It's called My Calorie Pocky. My Calorie Pocky has one-fourth the calories of a regular Pocky. We need to take out the calories of this little tiny stick. Seriously? I guess there were some ladies who thought that this was the reason making them fat. Wait, are you the reason I'm fat? Then there's this. It's Pocky G. Pocky G is supposed to be hard and rich. Moving on to Giant Pocky, which is pretty self-explanatory. And so is Reverse Pocky. This is Pocky Cake. No, 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 wait, not, not that. This is Pocky Cake. This is the kind they sell, not the kind you make. Pocky Cake, the kind you sell, not the kind you make. I'm not a rapper. I'm very sorry for that. It contains raisins, chocolate cream, orange peels, and Italian cake batter. Then my favorite of all Pocky that I wish I could find anywhere. I don't know when they're going to break this out again, but it is Fortune Telling Pocky. That's right. Pocky tells your fortune. There's two different types of fortune telling Pocky. The first kind is in the package. Every single Pocky comes with a little tiny fortune in the package. The second type is that only one Pocky in the actual, like, Omikuji, which is kind of, it's kind of the raffle type box, has a fortune. There's only going to be one of them that has a fortune. And I like that kind better because that's actually a fortune and not like, you know, you get every single Pocky and you have, oh, this fortune's really good, but this fortune's really bad. You don't know which one to believe if you believe in fortunes anyway. But Pocky! It's not always fun and games, alright? Pocky 
has a dark past. Do you know about the monster with 21 faces? The monster with 21 faces happened in 1984. The Scalite with the pen name of Monster with 21 Faces sent a letter to Glyco telling them that he poisoned all of their candy, including Pocky, with potassium cyanide soda. And there was a huge freak out. They took all the confectionaries off store shelves and they were freaking out that, oh my god, it's laced with poison and people will die. But after examining them, they were fine. But the whole ordeal cost Glyco $21 million and 450 part-time workers were laid off. And during the whole process, the man with 21 faces kept sending letters to police basically making fun of how much they suck. Did I mention that this is also the time that Katsuhisa Izaki, the president of Glyco, was kidnapped? No, I didn't. Well, he was. But the man with 21 faces is like, I'm not gonna attack Glyco anymore. I'm gonna go after some other companies like Morinaga. But this time he wasn't kidding. This time they actually found in total about 21 boxes of confectionaries that were poisoned. Luckily nobody ate them. That happened in February 1985. So for a year and five months they didn't know who the man with 21 faces was. And this actually led to the suicide of the police superintendent because he was so frustrated that he couldn't figure it out. And after the suicide, the man with 21 faces sent them a letter saying, oh wow, I feel really bad about that guy. And actually, the person who should have committed suicide should have been these other people. Oh, I feel totally bad, but that man was weak, and blah blah blah, all these stupid things. And then he's like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just not gonna do this anymore. I'm, I'm kind of done poisoning things. So, I'm just gonna chill. And if anybody else comes by saying that they're the man with 21 faces, they're lying because they're just being a copycat. I'm just gonna, you know, go off the radar now. And he did, and to this day, no one knows who the man with 21 faces was. There's your creepy fact about Pocky for the day. And that concludes my Pocky video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave more questions and comments and challenges and dares and suggestions down below in the comments. And if you really liked me, which I don't know why you would, you can check me out on like Facebook and Tumblr and Twitter and be involved in my crazy life here in Japan. See you next time, cutie. Happy Pocky Day. Oh, before I go, I almost forgot. When I went to Kawa Onsen, I had a challenge for you to say what was the face that I saw in the rock face. The winner is Laura121684, right? I think that's right. And it was Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. It looks like it. Doesn't it even have the weird curl at the top of the head? I think it looks like it. I, I don't know. But Laura121684, I'm going to message you. And you're gonna win something. That's right. You won! Woo! I don't know what you won. Maybe you won some of this Pocky that's all over my floor. That would be a bad gift, right? I need to go because I'm probably going to crash after that energy drink and that weird Care Bear pink Pepsi thing. Bye! Now go buy some Pocky. Sort of, maybe, sort of, chow. I bleh, you get it. Italian cake batter. Nope, that's not it. Oh, was it? Ha <laughs> ha! An orange peel. Was it little What the hell? No! Okay. I don't know what that creepy stuff was. <laughs> I just kind of zoned out. <laughs> I'm gonna crash.